Number 15. Jite. In the time period when ninjas were most active, no one could carry a weapon into the Shogun's palace. The law extended to the guards as well, which is why they carried non-bladed batons called Jite. The weapon eventually became associated with the highly coveted position of palace guard. The Jite had a two-inch prong starting from the hilt and pointing towards the tip. This hook, called the Kusagi, could have been used to catch and trap a drawn blade or it could have been pushed into the nose, mouth or weaker joints of an opponent. Ninjas understood the potential that the Jite held and modified it to suit their way of fighting. It's worth reinforcing at this point that the way of the ninja was condemned by the samurai who held honor above all other virtues. The handle of a ninja's jite could detach from the metal casing to reveal a stiletto. The ninja's victim was left vulnerable as they'd never expect the hidden blade to be drawn from the jite. Number 14. Bombs By the 13th century, explosive devices were already known in Japan and they would later evolve into handheld bombs. They became a crucial part of the ninja's arsenal. Smoke bombs could be used to create diversions and confusion. Explosives could be filled with poisonous gases for silent kills or with iron and ceramic shrapnel for fragmentation damage. Number 13. Makibishi Ninjas were masters of stealth and infiltration, but even they sometimes had to deal with being detected. While chased, ninjas had an effective way of slowing down their pursuers. They would throw down Makibishi which is the Japanese version of the caltrop. These are small spiked objects with the tips arranged in such a manner that one is always pointed upward from a stable base. The makibishi was strong enough to pierce through the straw rope sandals commonly worn at the time. Number 12. Kunai The kunai is an excellent example of ninja practicality. One principle as expressed in the shinobi training manual warns against a ninja becoming overburdened. The Banshin Shukai claims that a successful ninja is one who uses but one tool for multiple tasks. There are few better examples in that regard than the kunai, most likely derived from the Japanese masonry trowel. This heavy pointed tool was extremely useful. A skilled martial artist could use it like a dagger or a throwing knife. The ninja would also use it to gouge holes into walls and create footholds or passages of entry. Number 11 ninja knowledge. When it comes to a profession that fundamentally entails becoming a shadow, information and secrecy are perhaps the greatest weapons. Various clans contributed to developing and perfecting the way of the ninja. Three surviving writings are today regarded as the most important sources of ninja knowledge. The Ninpiden, written by Hattori Hanzo in 1560, is one of the earliest authentic ninja manuals. It was passed down within the Hattori family and considered secret knowledge, not to be shared with outsiders. In 1676, the Banshen Shukai contained information regarding the ninja's weapons and tools, but also had volumes on philosophy, leadership and infiltration techniques. Lastly, the Shoninki, written in 1681, was a training manual that focused extensively on the various principles of espionage. It deals with basic operational concepts like disguise and housebreaking, but is also concerned with a ninja mastering their emotional state. Much like the samurai, children were born into the ninja craft and were expected to pass it on. Training began early and, aside from being intensely physical, focused on the understanding of poison, explosives and deception. Number 10. Hapo The Hapo was a hollowed out eggshell that the ninja would fill with metsubushi, a type of blinding powder. Metsubushi literally translates as eye closers and would feature a variety of materials specifically meant to damage an opponent's eyes. These could include ground up peppers, crushed glass, dirt, iron filing and others. A hapo thrown at the victim's face usually allowed the ninja to make a quick escape if they were ever detected. It was also a redoubtable offensive weapon since taking out the victim's eyes left them vulnerable. Number 9. Kujikiri Ninjas, also known as shinobi, were the spies and assassins of feudal Japan. They primarily relied on stealth and dissimulation, which is why many of their weapons were designed to be concealed and surprise their targets. 
because of their covert actions, ninjas were sometimes believed to have supernatural abilities, like invisibility, flight, or shapeshifting. While these were mostly just illusions carefully crafted by the ninja, there is some mentioning of esoteric practices. The Kujikili was a technique that according to the legends could physically regenerate the ninja, increase their focus, render opponents immobile, or perform other superhuman feats. The Kujikili originated in Taoism as nine words and incantations. These were eventually accompanied by hand symbols which, when adequately performed, were said to give the ninja great power. It's rather incredible that in lack of swords or daggers, the ninja could perform Kujikiri and basically turn their body into a weapon. Number 8. Mikote There are a number of ninja weapons that take inspiration from the natural world. Felines are perhaps the creatures that best embody the set of skills required of a ninja. Cats are not only exceptionally athletic but they're also nocturnal, silent, and generally rely on stalking and ambushing their prey. The Nikote were iron claws similar to those of a cat, and the preferred weapon of the Kunochi, the female ninja. These metal claws were placed over the fingers independently, all connected to form a Freddy Krueger-like glove. The Konichi received extensive martial arts training and knew how to use the Nikote to inflict maximum damage to the victim's vital regions. Moreover, the tips of the Nikote were often dipped in poisonous tinctures, so any slash held deadly potential. Number 7. Mitsugumo Adding to the list of abilities that ninjas were believed to possess is water walking. As much as it defies natural law, ninjas could move across the water's surface without sinking. However, unlike reports of the Kujikiri, there was nothing supernatural about this. The ninja was actually using a device called the Mitsugumo, which literally translates as water spider. It consisted of a harness attached to the ninja's waist and featured small ear pockets made from animal hide, which kept the ninja afloat. Another description of the Mitsugumo claims it involved curved wood planks connected in a circle and worn on the feet like shoes. This design was tested in modern times and, while it wasn't necessarily effective for staying afloat, it was well suited for walking across marshes or wet rice paddies. The Mitsugumo was a strong contributor to the ninja mythos that allowed these shadow operators to reach seemingly impossible positions. Number 6. Kanzashi Even though they were capable of executing any type of assignment, the main role of the female ninja was espionage. The Kunochi would find work at targeted houses and gather information by gaining trust or eavesdropping. Since they were hiding in plain sight, the ninjas adapted their weapons accordingly. Women in feudal Japan often wore long, ornamental hairpins called kanzashi. In the hands of a kunochi, a sharpened kanzashi was more than a fashion accessory, it was a killing tool. If the spy was discovered, they'd be able to act quickly by attacking their victim with the kanzashi. Should the ninja have received orders to assassinate someone in the infiltrated household, they could dip the kanzashi in poison and make the kill. Number 5. Ninjato The ninjato, as presented by the majority of modern ninjutsu practitioners was the purported sword of the ninja. As masters of stealth, these assassins needed weapons that they could easily carry. The movement was swift and silent, so a sword like the samurai's katana would have often been cumbersome. The ninjato is said to have been thick, heavy, and straight, while also being shorter at a maximum length of about 23 inches. According to some historians, ninjas had to forge their own swords, and a straight blade design was easier to create than the curved shape of the katana. The weapon's design might have also been a tribute to Fudo Maio'o, a patron deity of the ninja who's often depicted with a straight sword. Still, a number of sources claim that the ninja also relied on the katana when it came to sword fighting. Number 4. Kama The kama was basically a sickle with a straighter edge, initially used for reaping crops. However, the ninja eventually found a use for it as a weapon and experts could double-wield a pair of kama with deadly proficiency. This weapon could be used to block, trap, or disarm an opponent. The blade was kept razor-sharp and there was a nook at the end of its handle, which allowed the kama to be attached to a staff. Number 3. Kusarigama The Kusarigama was a modified version of the kama, with its handle connected to a metal weight via a long chain. 
It's said to have been one of the deadliest weapons of its time. The ninja would swing the weighted chain in a circle above their head, then throw it forward to entangle the ninja's opponent or their weapon. The wielder was thus free to strike their incapacitated target with the sickle end of the Kusarigama. Today's topic was requested by Vagelis Zimnas. If you have any other topics that you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Number 2. Shuriken Perhaps the best-known ninja weapon was the Shuriken. While they're commonly known and popularized as throwing stars, the Shuriken took many shapes including darts, discs, spikes or knives. While they could inflict mortal damage, they were likely mainly used as distraction tools. One common technique was throwing the Shuriken only to produce a glancing strike and then become lost, confusing the victim. Join the They Will Kill You team by rocking the latest merch from theywillkillyou.com. Order yours today to be one of the first to spread the word. Number 1. Fukia Fukia is both the name for the Japanese blowgun and for the practice associated with it. Yet long before it became part of an archery sport, the Fukia was a weapon used by the ninja. It was shorter than the modern version at only about 20 inches. While this reduced its range, the blowgun was deadly when used by an expert. From a secluded position, the ninja fired special darts with poison tips at their targets. It could also be used as a breathing pipe, enabling the ninja to stay submerged and undetected. Thanks for watching. Who do you think would win in a fight between a ninja and a Spartan soldier? Let us know in the comments section below.